and Renisha McGregor of Jamaica, 23.94. So McGregor, certainly the most vulnerable. Anything inside 23 and a half seconds could prove to be good enough to get through to the final. There is uh, the Colombian, Rivera. And McLennan of Great Britain has run 23.09, eight tenths of a second short of that in the heats earlier. And Andrea Buma of the Netherlands right on the outside. She is the athlete to chase. This is the second of the three heats, the semi final stage of the women's 200 metres. McLennan. Tall. They want to get those long levers moving as soon as she can. Fastest athlete in the field is indeed the Briton. Needs to find that sort of form here, though. Lennon. 23.09, that came last year. Not quite in that sort of form yet this season. 23.45, her best time in 2016. But what a time it would be to rediscover that sort of form right now. Championship record, 22.53, Anthonique Strawn of the Bahamas in the burning cauldron at the top of the Montjuic Hill in Barcelona six years ago. And the Britain's got a bit of work to do here, chasing Rivera on her inside. And also coming through there is Ambrose from Bahamas. And Ambrose it is going to take it. And the Britain's getting well and truly run out of it. Ambrose is just beaten indeed by Rivera, the Colombian. But disappointment, I'm afraid, for Charlotte McLenaghan who never really got going there. And, uh, well, not in the best of form, the Briton. And I'm afraid it rather showed there with uh, Ambrose and uh, Rivera, the two athletes who will progress to the final. The winning time, 23.44, so nine one hundredths or so slower than Sada Williams in that first heat. Well, the Brit was away quickly enough, but look here at the tall, or the uh, tall figure there in the middle. The Australian, I think, was rather disappointing at this stage. Madison Coates expected a bit more of her. But in the middle, you can see Shanice Reed of Jamaica, but she starts to fade up the home straight, and it's the power pack Colombian, Evelyn Rivera. Although she, uh, at this stage, appeared to be losing out to Ambrose of the Bahamas, but look at Rivera fight back. She just won't give up, will she? Coming through for third place is the young Bahrainian Nazir. And Nazir's time will certainly be of interest. Nazir, 23.77, in fact, in third place. That a lifetime best, and she moves into the fastest loser spots. Gia. 23.72 in the first semi-final remains the fastest of the losers, but now Basir Nazia of Bahrain becomes the second fast loser. She will be watching this third race very eagerly indeed. So McLennan eventually came through for fifth, 23.87, and uh, in the end that uh, what only two one hundredths faster than she ran in this morning's heat. So a little bit of disappointment there for the Britain. She can run better than that. Only two places guaranteed.